show has been cut. You guys will have to go your separate ways. Me gusta tocar guitarra, me gusta cantar el sol. Mariachi me acompaña cuando canto mi canción. Me gusta tomar mis copas, agua ardiente es lo mejor. También al tequila blanco con su sal de la sabor. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, ay, mi amor. Ay, mi morena de mi corazón. Ay, 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 ay. Hold me, rock me. Come and easy. Hold me. Hi, I'm Ashley Peters, and I am a seven-year senior, and I'm going to Belmont University as a voice performance major. Hello, everyone. My name is Joshua Stanley, and I am a three-year vocal senior. Uh, my plans after high school are going to college um, in California in AMDA, majoring in performing arts and getting my BFA. Hey, my name is Angela McComb. I'm a seven-year senior, and next year I'll be going to University of Northern Colorado, majoring in audiology. Hi, my name is Jordan Vasquez. I'm a two-year senior, and this summer I'm going to be going to California to separate, and this winter I'm going to be going to college in Seattle. Hi, I'm Britt, and I'm a four-year senior, and next year I will be going to CU Boulder for their music performance program. I'm Sam McCurry, and next year I'll be attending Puget Sound as a communications major and a vocal music minor. Hi, my name is Desiree Flowers. I'm a seven-year senior. I will be going to Howard University for political science. Hi, I'm Victoria Stark. I'm a three-year senior, and next year I'm going to Arapaho Community College for nursing in the fall. Hi, my name is Thomas Swain, and I am a seven-year senior. Next year, I will be going to the Peabody Institute of Music at the Johns Hopkins University. Hi, I'm Tiaja Costin. I'm a four-year senior, and I will be attending San Francisco Conservatory of Music for opera performance and theater. Hi, my name is Laura Werner, and I'm a four-year senior as a vocal major. Next year, I'll be going to CU Boulder as an open option major. Hi, I'm Marissa Howard. I'm a six-year senior. Next year, I'll be going to Roosevelt University studying classical voice. I'm George Woodliffe Stanley. I'm a three-year senior, and I'm going to Swarthmore College next year. Hello, I'm Caitlin Monaghan, and I am a seven-year senior, and next year I will be attending the University of Wyoming as a musical theater major and a fashion merchandising minor. Hi, my name is Julia Worth, and I'm a six-year senior, and next year I will be going to CU Boulder as an aerospace engineer major.
We were asked by a group um, to film a day in tech from start to finish. So it's a day in tech. I think what a lot of people don't know about tech is that we live at DSA. We're not only here during our school day, but we're here all the time. What's your daily routine in stagecraft? Work. The first thing we do in the mornings, um, we usually wake up and get ready for school. I think the most difficult thing is fighting for a warm shower in the morning. <laughs> About after the third person, the water starts to run cold. My favorite time is whenever we're all getting ready in the morning together. It gives us space to talk about what our goals are for that day, where we're at, and like what we need to accomplish. It's just, it's a relaxing time that we all get to spend together. Last night was good. The tent was a bit crowded, but as always, we've managed to survive the night here at DSA and it's a lot of fun working with everyone. We live on top of the grid. Um, usually whenever we tell people they don't believe us, but we have a tent up there and this is it's where we sleep. How we all manage to fit in that tent night after night is a mystery to me, but somehow it worked. Describing techies, um, I think we are the misfit toys, and I think that's why we are such a family. We understand and get each other. Even though in tech we spend so much time together, probably more time together than we do apart, we're still able to be silly and have fun together. I've spent the majority of my life with these 13 seniors. I really don't know what we're going to do without each other. This is a huge step for all of us, moving away and not seeing each other every day. I think what's special about tech is that no matter how far away we are from each other, we will always be family. And no matter how far away we are from each other, this will always be our home. Oh, my favorite thing about stagecraft, everyone and everything. You know, seniors, I'm looking at your grades and I'm wondering, what is going to become of you? Hello, I'm Diane Tejip and I'm a very successful defense attorney. And I also have a very, very happy marriage. And I have a very beautiful son named Teddy. Peter Grundowski here, inviting you to shop at Pistol Pete's Auto Dealership. We've got the finest used vehicles in Denver, all at bargain prices. Bang, bang, give us a shot. You won't be disappointed. This is Ben Jenkins, your stand-up comic. Don't be silly now if you can't read. <laughs> if you're looking for funny, look for me. Drill instructor Sydney Merrill here. 498, 499. Each of these stars represents someone I have chased out of the army for being a wuss. Drop down and give me 20. Well, hey there. I'm Austin Boyd. 
I went to the University of Northern Colorado for piano. I realized that my real calling was goat calling. Hey, what's up? I used to be Jeremiah Owens, but now you probably know me as Cy, the international pop star. I'm sure you're thrilled I made time to fill this. Now somebody give me some coconut water, I'm parched. Howdy folks, I'm Zul Badral. You probably recognize me from my popular Food Network show and best-selling book, Southern Cooking with Zula. I just got back from the market. We'll be making pig's feet with ham hot gravy. Now don't that sound like some good eats. Hey everybody, I'm ProCycle's Jade Morrow. I don't got much time to talk because I'm in the Tour de Aurora. When you work as hard as I do, you gotta stay hydrated. Hey man, it's so cool, there's some geese. Hi, I'm Johnson Riley, and I'm sorry, but I'm not authorized to tell you what it is that I do. But what I can say is that people like you are safe because of people like me. Hi, I'm Jack Wager Broward. I'm married and I'm actually a stay-at-home dad. Who needs to use the bathroom? My wife is very successful, so I get to stay home with this little guy all day. Mwah. Oh, hi, sweetheart. Hi, I'm Johnny Weehy, and I love doing crossword puzzles, reading Wikipedia articles, and playing bridge with my friends. Oh, I'm also the piano director at Denver School of the Arts. You know, seniors, I've been looking at your grades, and I'm wondering what is going to become of you. Any idea what's going on here? Are you ready? No. <laughs> so, a lot of people say that creative writers are awkward. Um, we wouldn't necessarily say they're awkward. Um, we're just all really connected here. You know, we're connected to each other, connected to the earth. It's like tree roots. Really, really deep tree roots. So what subjects do you guys find really deep? Cats. Hmm. A lot of people seem to think that we here in creative writing overanalyze literature. I don't get that stereotype at all. Where does that, like, where does that come from? We're just normal people who just read things. Normally. But first you have to ask, what is overanalyzation? Not a word. Yeah, like, not everyone in creative writing drinks tea. What? That's ridiculous. Of course we don't eat in creative writing. We don't have time. We're always busy you know, explicating and we just, we're so dedicated. There's no time to eat. Right, Sam? Yeah, totally. So, like, does anybody know who this is? It? I'm just gonna take it. Um, so anyway, I just think it's really demeaning when people stereotype. Hang on. It's ridiculous, honestly. We are so dedicated. All the time in creative writing. Yeah, and, and to say that we just like, Eat and screw around. I don't know, it's really insulting. Hey! Hey, hey, hey oh, that's mine. Yeah. Oh. I have no idea where this weird stereotype comes from that all creative writers like do yoga or something. Yeah, yoga, like writing, a tree pose? What what's a tree pose? Yeah. Nothing to do with anything at all. I think that the bus symbolizes the womb. <laughs> Just had your eyes all in your head. Yeah, yoga, writing. <laughs> <laughs>
greatest and best song in the world. Tribute. Long time ago, me and my brother Anthony here, we was hitchhiking down a long and lonesome road. All of a sudden, there shined a shiny demon in the middle of the road. And he said, play the best song in the world, or I'll eat your souls. Well, me and Anthony, we looked at each other, and we each said, okay. And we played the first thing that came to our heads, just so happened to be the best song in the world. It was the best song in the world. World. You look into my eyes and it's easy to see One and one make two, two and one make three It was destiny Once every hundred thousand years or so When the sun don't shine and the moon don't grow And the grass don't grow Hi, I'm Anthony Feltz. I've been going to DSA for about three years now and I'll be attending Berkeley College of Music in Boston for their music therapy program next year. Hi, I'm Jamil Alfadi. Um, I've been going to DSA for two years now, and I'm going to be going to McDaniel uh, College up in Maryland next year for political science and international relations. I do my best to find some kind of glow I'm giving it some heart and soul now From the darkest grays, the sun bursts, clouds break Yeah, we see that fire from the streets of Babylon To the road that we've been on now The kaleidoscope clings another
set us free like the queen to the rook. Your decision was a sure thing, honey. Yeah, a sure thing. No wonder I feel like I'm missing the head. You should be practicing.